All right, so I'm gonna start my MacBook and I'm gonna keep this button here pressed, okay? Now, let me put the camera here so you can see properly. There you go. As you can see, we've got three options here. In one option, we have the Snow Leopard, which is uh, currently in my internal hard drive. And this is Windows on Bootcamp, which is also in the internal hard drive. And then we have the FE Boot, which is the pen drive that we just created. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and select this. I'm going to hit enter. And now it's going to take some time. And this is it. This is the installation software uh, right before our eyes. And uh, now um, we are given three, four options here. One is restore from Time Machine Backup. The other is reinstall Mac OS X. Uh, get help online and disk utility. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to make to make a fresh installation. So uh, I want to wipe my whole internal disk clean. Okay, because I want to make a, a brand new Mac OS X Lion installation. So for that I'm going to use disk utility. Okay. So I'm going to click continue. As you see, I have a list of uh, mountain drives, mounted drives in here on the left column. And I'm going to select uh, this drive, which is the internal uh, Mac drive, the one I'm currently using. And I'm going to have to erase it. Okay. Now, uh, format, I want to have a macOS extended journal format for the internal hard drive and the name, I'm going to name it uh, just Macintosh HD. And then you have two, uh, you have two options here. Okay. You can either erase it straight away and, and then you have the security options. Uh, security options mm, are needed if you have some sensitive um, information in your hard drive that you don't want anybody to be able to retrieve. Okay, uh, this is not my case, so I'm just gonna click the fastest fastest way of erasing my hard drive, and I'm gonna click erase. Okay, it's gonna give me a warning. Uh, saying that erasing a disk deletes all data on it, on its partitions, which is what I want to do. So uh, it's very important you understand that do, by doing this, we are going to lose the bootcamp partition. So if you're willing to uh, wipe clean your whole hard drive, including book, bootcamp, then go ahead and uh, use this erase button. There you go. So I'm just erasing the whole hard drive, okay? Obviously, before doing this, um, you you may want to have a backup copy of the uh, of the hard drive, okay? So great. The formatting has finished. It took only a few seconds, okay? Um, so I just erased the the whole art internal hard drive. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to install the Mac OS X Lion. So I'm going to click in here, this icon, I click continue, continue here. I agree to the terms and conditions. I've read and agreed to the terms of the software license agreement. I agree. And now it's asking me where do I want to install the 
operating system and I'm gonna say Macintosh HD the one I uh, just formatted okay so click install and that's it that's all you have to do in order to to install the OS 10 Lion okay so it says about five minutes remaining I don't know whether that's true or not it could be true because I'm installing it from a, a pen drive which is much quicker than a DVD um, if you use a DVD I suppose it's gonna take about 15 minutes all right so I'm gonna wait for the installation to be uh, over and then I'll get back to you guys all right All right, we're about uh, about zero seconds remaining, and now the looks like it's gonna restart. Yeah. So actually, the installation was not over. Probably it was just installing files for um, you know to prepare the 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 real installation. So as it says about 19 minutes. So I'm gonna pause the video, and uh, we'll pick up there from uh, when when the installation is over. Okay, the installation was finished and it was successful so now I'm gonna set up my new uh, Mac OS X Lion continue my keyboard I wish extended continue select my Wi-Fi network okay password now if you have important information on another Mac or Windows PC you can transfer it to this Mac you can also transfer data from a time machine backup or another startup disk well I'm just gonna say don't transfer now this is the migration assistant of uh, the installation disk so I'm gonna do it later on, in a later stage so I'm gonna click continue I'm gonna skip this because I can't remember my Apple ID I can click continue because I don't want to fill in this form okay guys this is the new OS X Lion um, login page and uh, here we have our new operating system up and running okay guys now that you have your uh, operating system in place you may want to transfer uh, your old files into your new operating system and uh, to that end you may want to use this software which is called Migration Assistant and is a built-in software of uh, Mac OS X okay it's very simple to use um, it requires your user password as you can see okay and you can transfer important information from one Mac to another or from uh, an external disk to this Mac okay and that concludes our uh, video tutorial I hope you liked it and I hope it's going to be useful to you okay so uh, please uh, post your comments post your suggestions ask questions and I will try to answer them as soon as possible okay so guys, thanks for watching another Ulisse tutorial and I will see you next time.